Okay, uh, my name is Tom Gillespie. I'm an archaeologist for Tananai Chiefs Conference in Fairbanks. And this is the second year of uh, our Raw High Archaeological Field School that we run in cooperation with the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And we're being funded by a special grant from the National Science Foundation to do education for uh, various, uh, various groups of young people who uh, are moving toward college or are moving toward adult life. And the idea is to give them a very intensive uh, field experience, doing real science, doing real archaeology, um, while living together as a group in a wilderness or near, near wilderness setting. And uh, as I say, this is our second year of that program. And uh, thus far, I'm extremely pleased. I was just looking at the site, uh, our excavation area, and to me, this looks like uh, the sort of work that you would expect out of advanced undergraduates at the university. Um, I'm working on excavating level three of this section of my unit. So, um, haven't found anything yet. Uh, just started, really. But I've got a rock here that's marked with my little custom markers. I think the rock itself is actually right here. You can hear that, maybe? So that's the rock. And then Gwen is working on level two and getting the root layer. Want to describe what you're doing? I'm trying to make this level with all of this. And slowly working my way, moving the stump right here. And yeah. She told about the hearth. Oh, yeah. And in this area right here, I'm at the top of a fire pit. And there's a bunch of charcoal right here, and there's a rock, and there's some bone right here. And then there's really big chunks of bone right there. And right there. So, yeah. And then there's all the charcoal. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard because we have lots of roots and just have to go really slow and it's hard to know exactly if I'm doing it right. They tell me I am, but sometimes I think they just make me feel good. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope to get everything. I have a lot to go to get down to where they're at, so yeah. hopefully I will get there all. And, the hardest part is getting at the level. Because I'm not a very level person. Got to keep my level head. <laughs> I'll have a level head. <laughs> yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun. Their site work is basically the same work that undergraduate archaeology students would do at a university field school. They're learning all the necessary skills to excavate prehistoric uh, remains with, in a very controlled fashion using standards of uh, modern scientific method and standards of the profession as, as, we hope to, um, as we hope to do to a very high standard, to the same standard as uh, the university gra uh, undergraduate field school at UAF. And in fact, we hope to be um, a preparatory ground for that field school. There may be some students who decide to make archaeology a career. I'm traveling or scraping. <laughs> Dirt from my unit on the southwest quadrant. It used to be pretty. Now it's not because of the rain. It went down and it made it muddy. I found a lot of flakes and chert and just that look like flakes, but they're not flakes. It's from the screening that I did over there. And another flake. And another flake. And like multiple, like a lot of flakes right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
when I found in like the first 10 minutes of starting to dig. Wow. Yep. Well, right now I'm um, digging to level 2 on my unit with Nocto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, what we're pretty much doing is we're looking for artifacts um, and we're trying to piece together like the history of what this specific area was for. Um, so far we've found a lot of obsidian and charcoal and in the ground and stuff like that. And so um, what we're gathering so far this place was that it was like a gathering area, like a like a ceremonial Athabascan like gathering area or something like that based off all, all the evidence that we found. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool just learning a new scientific field. Um, not much of a science person, but I'm getting the hang of it, so I'm having fun. I'm learning new things and it's a good time. Mendes <laughs> Other than the archaeological field work, we're also doing a practicum, uh, a hands-on practicum, um, that takes the students through uh, a series of activities that emulate the activities the prehistoric people living in a site like this would have uh, taken, the steps they would have taken to create uh, a hunting uh, technology system, in this case an atlatl and dart system and to apply that to a simulated hunt. In our case, we're simulating it. And then we have available uh, from uh, US, excuse me, from Alaska Fish and Wildlife. Uh, they've given us uh, some um, beaver bodies that we'll be using uh, as our, our, uh, our fa prey. And uh, the next step beyond a simulated hunt will be to um, translate our beaver into usable products, uh, hide, food, uh, the bones may be useful, uh, using stone tools that we've uh, already, uh, we've created uh, as part of the uh, practicum. There's a flint napping stone working aspect to the, the practicum. <laughs> student at the Center for the Study of the First Americans at Texas A&M and I'm here with uh, the Raw High program and the Tanana Chiefs Conference working at the Linda's Point site on Healy Lake. So you can see behind me we have a large group of people excavating. They're doing a wonderful job and we're really really proud of all that they've learned in the last few days. So I'm a graduate student. I'm working on my PhD and my dissertation research is being conducted here at Linda's Point. 
and we're looking at the history of occupation at the site over the last 13,000 years. So here at Healy Lake we're in the interior of Alaska. You can see the beautiful lake and it's uh, in the middle of the eastern portion of what we call Beringia and it's uh, the mass that was the land mass that was formed at the end of the last ice age where we think that humans were able to migrate from Siberia into the Americas. So this site dates to 13,000 years old at its earliest known occupation so far and we're hoping to understand about the ways that people lived uh, when they first occupied this area. So here at the site right now we're just getting down into uh, where the students are excavating. We're getting down into one of the later occupations that's probably only a few hundred years old and we're finding stone tools, we're finding the remains of fire pits. They have burnt bone and burnt rock and uh, the soil is stained around those areas and we're going to take those artifacts back to the lab and study what's been going on. We've had a lot of fun so far and I've been able to help teach them about archaeology and I've been learning a lot from the Raw High students here. It's been a lot of fun. So I'm really glad that they've been here with us. And uh, we'll be excavating for another seven days. So hopefully we'll get to find some really cool things. Okay. Um. Oh, right now, I'm cutting roots. It's going to be easier for me to dig, and after that, I need to level this little quadrant out. I'm going to find that out with this. It's a little hard at first because I have a lot of roots in my system. Like over there, right here, a lot. I've been cutting it up. I hope it doesn't look as beautiful as theirs. Yes. I have to be patient. Right now, um, as a PhD student, I'm learning how to be an instructor in field schools, so working on sites like this, as well as instructing in classrooms. So I've had a really great learning experience, um, just learning what kinds of things are more interesting. Uh, it's really been great to be able to work with such a small group of students where I get to work one-on-one -on -one a lot of the time. And so I learn a lot more about how the students uh, feel about what I'm teaching them compared to the really big classes in universities where I might have 75 students and I don't get to interact as much. I've also had a really wonderful time learning about our students' cultures, uh, the villages that they come from. We've been sharing experiences, so the students have learned as part of their practicum how to make atlatls, which are a kind of uh, spear-throwing technology. You know, sometimes when you're a teacher, you expect that your students will learn a lot, but it's, it's, it's magic when you learn as much, if not more, than your students. And these students this year, um, with what they've done, have inspired me in ways I just never expected. Being here has been a real eye-opener for several reasons. I've sort of looked into archaeology for, for my career, but then being around um, Naktuk and still hearing what 
they've done in the, since they've been out of high school has been really amazing. So just hearing what they do is really cool. So it's helped me open up my my view on what I want to become. But archaeology is still one of them. Um, it's been really great to see everyone and all their challenges and all of the um, exciting moments that go along with it. And um, they're learning a lot and they're making really great progress and they're understanding more and more every day with every little stroke that they make that, and, and um, screening that they do. Um, they're learning and they're, they're, they're seeing the challenges that they have to face being in the field but they're also, um, it's all they talk about when they're, well they talk a lot about, you know, all the things that they did with their own units and they share with each other what they're experiencing so in that way they're learning and teaching each other at the same time and um, yeah we have some excellent mentors here that we're working alongside with which is really exciting that they can actually be hands-on and in the field learning and um, using the practicum and lectures to supplement their their experience here so they're rubbing some dirt in it and uh, learning layer by layer. And uh, yeah, it's just a really great time. Rain or shine, we're out here. And um, it teaches them a lot about themselves too. They're really learning not only the academic sense and, and field experience, but they're really finding themselves and what they what they like, the interests that, that they find within themselves. And um, it's re just really, incredible to, to see them grow and learn along with them. So it's been great so far. Sweet. 